Okay. So in that this week, like I said, we're going to be doing some reviewing before we take our assessment um, toward next week. Reviewing what we did before break, because I know sometimes it's hard to um, remember what we worked on prior to then. And Xander, if, you, if it's in your way, you are always welcome to move. Okay, bud. Go. So let's start by taking a look at our problem of the day. Before we get started with anything else. And it was definitely different today, wasn't it? It was a good review of some of the stuff that we're going to be working on. And reviewing. So, 8 plus 12. That's an easy one. What's 8 plus 12? Callan? 20. What about 12 plus 8? Everybody? 20. Very good. We know that if we switch these numbers, it doesn't change the sum, does it? The sum stays the same. 9 minus 3. Lydia? Six. So what plus 3 equals 9? Caroline? 6. 6. Good. What symbol do we think should go in here? What symbol do we think? So remember, greater than, less than, or equal to. So the thing about it is, is that we need to figure out Figure out what the right symbol is. So, how much money is this? We've got two dimes here. How much money is that worth? Talon? 20 cents because each dime is worth 10 cents. What about on the other side? We've got one dime and two nickels. How much is a nickel worth? Ollie? Five, Five cents. So, how much money is on this side? Xander? 20 cents. So what symbol do we think would go in the middle? 20 cents. Is it less than 20 cents? Equal to 20 cents or greater than 20 cents? What do you think? Kendall? Good. What about up here? 10 plus 1 equals 19. Zoe? 9. 10 plus 1 equals 20. 10 plus 9 equals 19. Alexia? 10. There were 17 girls in Mrs. Baker's class last year. This year, there are nine girls. How many more girls were in Mrs. Baker's class last year? What, are, what am I going to do to solve this? What am I going to do to solve this? Lydia? Yeah. I'm going to take 17. I'm going to subtract 9. What is 17 minus 9? What do you think, Callan? 8. 8. Good. Okay, just a couple more. These are pretty easy ones, right? Pretty simple. 0 plus 10. What's 0 plus 10, everybody? 10. Good. 0 plus 100. What is it, everybody? 100. Good. Glad to hear you're awake. 13 minus 6. What is 13 minus 6? Hmm. Avi? 7. So 6 plus what equals 13? Landon? 7. 7. Now here is kind of a new one, isn't it? This one says color one eighth of the square. We haven't gotten the fractions yet, but it's a good preview. I know. How many pieces should you color in? Carolyn, what do you think? Two. Two. Let's see here. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares. Oops, I screwed them. And how many am I going to color in, do you think? Two. 
one eighth. If I have eight parts, I look at that top number and I say I'm going to color in Zoe one. one. And I can color in any of them that I want to. But I'm just going to color in one. What number should I write here? Everybody, what number is this? 26. Oh, I love how some of you said it with me. And I write 26 like this. What about this one? What is this number? Everybody say it. 33. And everybody's eyes up here. And then we have this. Megan saw a movie about parrots. There were eight parrots sitting on a branch. Then six more landed. Next four flew away. How many parrots were still sitting on the tree? So this is a two-step problem. What do I start off by doing? Ollie? Yeah, I'm going to take 8 plus 6 because there were 8 parrots. And then 6 more landed. What is 8 plus 6? Brentley? Then what happened, though? What happened? Ellie, I need your eyes up here. Let's strike one. Caroline? Four flew away. Four flew away. So I'm going to take those four off. And how many are left? Xander? Ten. Ten. Boys and girls, our adding and subtracting is not going away, okay? These are really good um, reviews of some skills you should already have that aren't going away. But this week, we're not learning anything new math. We're going to be reviewing what we did before break, okay? And we did two things in this last quarter. We did um, rounding, and we added and subtracted with regrouping, correct? So today, we're going to start by reviewing adding. You ready to do that? We have a little song. You guys remember a little song? For, for rounding? Yeah. When you round up a few, or sorry, let me, I did down first on it. Let's try that again. When you round down, down you go in zero, one, two, three, or four. When you round up, up this nice, like five, six, seven, eight, or nine. So let's start really easy. Let's practice rounding to the nearest ten. That's easy, right? Mm -hmm. So let's start with a nice easy number like 68. Okay? We're rounding to the nearest 10. So there's a couple ways that we can do this. We can use our vertical number lines, correct? We're rounding to the nearest 10. So I'm going to underline the digit in the tens place. How many tens in 68? Six tens. What number is the same as six tens? Callan? What is one more 10 than 60? Ellie? Seven tens. Seven tens, or what number is that? Good. What is halfway between 60 and 70? Landon? Very good. So stop me when I get to where 68 should be on my number line. Are you ready? 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. Stop. Good. When you round down, down you go with zero, one, two, three, or four. When you round up, up it's nice like five, six, seven, eight, or nine. So 68 going up to 70 or down 60? What do you think? You're going to try and tell me, Xander? 70. So it's about 70. Let's try another one. Let's try 44. Okay, how many tens in 44? Lydia? Four. What number is that? Four tens. What number is four tens? 40. Good. What is one more ten than four tens? Zoe? Five. Five tens. What number is the same as five tens? Very good. What number is halfway between 40 and 50? Kendall? 45. Awesome sauce. So now, let's put 44 on our number line. Stop me when I get there. You ready? 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Stop. 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 Woo, I can tell who's awake. When you round down, down you go with zero, one, two, three, or four. When you round up, up it's nice like five, six, 
six, seven, eight, or nine. So when I look at that one, do I have a zero, one, two, three, or four there? Or a five, six, seven, eight, or nine? Am I going up to 50 or down to 40? Ollie? Down to 40. That was easy, right? What if you're on the nearest hundred? What if I had a number like 152? I'm rounding to the hundreds now, not my tens. I'm rounding to the hundreds. How many hundreds in 152? Tracy, how many hundreds in 152? Look at the number that I underlined up there. Huh? One. Very good. What is one more hundred than one hundred? Bentley? Two hundred. What is halfway between one hundred and two hundred? Ollie? A hundred and fifty. Okay. One fifty-two. Where's it going to go at? Is it going to go down here? Right here, up here, look at that, 52. Where should I put it at? Can somebody come up and point to my number line? Ellie, can you come on up and point where you think 152 would go? Very good. It's going to go really close to the 150, isn't it? When you round down, down you go and one, two, three, or four. When you round up, up, it's nice like five, six, seven, eight, or nine. So is 152 going up to 200 or down to 100? Landon? Up to 200. Very good. What if we had a number like 1,123? We're not rounding to the nearest thousands, we're rounding to the nearest ten or hundred. So I kind of ignore my thousands place value for a minute, but I look at my hundreds. How many hundreds in one thousand one hundred twenty-three? One hundred, and there's also this ten right here, right? So there's actually how many? What number is this right here? Lydia? 11. There's 11 tens. What number is the same as 11 tens? It's a little trickier. Alexia? Um, Not just 10, 11 tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100, and Bentley? 10. 110. What is 100 with one more hundreds? I should have that say hundreds, not tens. What is one more hundreds than 11 hundreds? Ellie? Twelve, right? Twelve hundreds, good. What number is the same as twelve hundreds? Talent? 1200. And then halfway between 1100 and 1200 would be 1150. Now, let's look. 123. Okay? 100, 110, 120, 130. Stop. Should I have stopped, Vander? Yes. So is it going to go down or up? Lydia? Down. Down. Very good. Very good. Boys and girls, we will be doing an assessment on rounding. You guys did an awesome job. You can use number lines or you can use any of the other strategies we've gone over. Alexia, let me give out directions for what we're doing and then yes. Okay.